Hey everyone, Michael and Peter here with GoodyReader.com and it's a very exciting day. We have the first e-paper phone. Yes. Unlike the Yoda phone, this is a single screen e ink phone. phone. And Onyx did something amazing with this. They were originally supposed to release it months ago, mm -hmm. but what they did is they incorporated a new type of e-paper technology called Mobius. And the only other e-reader to actually use this is the Sony Digital Paper, mm -hmm. which is you know thirteen hundred to fifteen hundred dollars oh, yeah. and thirteen point three inches. But it's supposed to be very lightweight, high resolution, and excellent for battery life. Everything that we'd want really in a smartphone. Pretty much. So what we're going to do today is unbox this, power it on for the first time, and you'll get a really good indication that this is the right phone for you. Certainly, it looks like to be the right phone for me. Let's dive in for a closer look. So this is the retail box of the Onyx Ink Phone. It's actually very clean. It's a very high quality box too. It's one of that really thick cardboard boxes. So the main selling points is the very lightweight e-ink Mobius screen tech. It's a one gigahertz processor, 512 MB of RAM, but, and, but only Pete, 512 yeah. of storage. I would highly recommend an SD card as it will be almost entirely necessary because yeah, you have almost no space on this thing. Yeah. So we are going to just give you a tease. Oh, oh, we're gonna leave it till the end uh. and explore the rest of the box. So we have the kind of cradle harness, whatever you want to call it, that holds it, little sleeve. Now, because this is a Eastern European device, you only get the Eastern European standard, so you'll have to get uh, an adapter, but it is straight to USB, or you can charge it directly in your computer via the USB cable. And I'm glad to see that they're going with a micro and not a mini, that's yeah. always good. And also, you could actually sideload in your own eBooks as well with that. Right. Warranty card and your quick start. So if you have any questions on how to work this, now it may That's seem to you. That's a pretty giant quick start guide. That's not too bad. It's very picture friendly. You'll see here that there are shake features, and then we have English on the other side, which is really great. So it looks like you can. When reading, shaking the phone slightly can refresh the screen. That's like an Etch-a-Sketch. That's so cool. The original e-reader, everybody. I would the laugh if it only refreshes when you shake it. Yeah, that'd be horrible. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that ink phone. Oh shake that ink phone, yeah. So this is the back. It's a very nice matte black finish. You got the speaker up top. A little bit of design trailing the speaker. Logoing. Nothing on the left side. Volume on the right side. This will also be crucial for hopefully taking screenshots. We'll see. On the bottom, you have the microphone and micro USB. Looks like it is a user re removable battery. It is. Or at least the back opens. So we have lithium ion battery, fully removable. We have a full SIM card size. Is that an SD card in it? Now, we don't know if this is. Since, yeah. No, I mean, we don't know if this is included in the box because it doesn't state that this is an included feature, but it looks like there is an SD card in here Four on games. this particular one. Uh, we can't confirm that this will happen on every single one, so just don't quote us on that. We have the single speaker. We have a full SIM. This can also be adapted using different adapters to accommodate a micro or nano. So we're going to put the battery back in. I'm going to have to get one of those nano converters for my iPhone yeah, SIM card exactly. to get this. And we have the uh, 3.5 mil headphone jack up top with a power button. And we're going to go ahead and turn this on for the first time. Hopefully we have some juice. Oh, E-readers usually do have juice in them. It looks like this one is out. So what we're going to do is charge this guy up for the first time and give you guys a first time startup. So we just powered this on, we connected it to Wi-Fi, and this is what it looks like by default right out of the box. You see that nothing is really on the screen because there has been no previous activity. You press apps, this is gonna look really familiar. This is your list of apps. Now the screen, I 
I would recommend, because it's not LCD or LED, I'd recommend putting an anti-glare on this only because, not for the screen quality, but it's so sticky and grippy that you get caught a lot. And with e-ink, you need precision. We all know that precision is key on e-ink because if you press something, you gotta wait to see if it does it. And then you can, you know, take that next step. But yeah, it looks like it has all the, all the regular, all the regular phone features you just have to be very patient because it is e-ink and you can't rush it even though this is a phone and you're gonna want to go tap 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 that is not the case here so it has the google android market as you saw there yeah we'll show as you as well right as uh email or it, gmail and this is google market not google play so it is the older version i think it'll probably update itself once we log in right so this is what it looks like right out of the box we have not done a firmware update we have not loaded anything on the phone because we will do all of that for the review and you see here we're running 2.3.5 all right so this does have a, a front lit display mm -hmm. so it'll allow you to read under low light conditions we can turn it up all the way or go all the way to the bottom and it looks like they have the the a2 uh, functionality in it, which is about the same as uh, the links. This was uh, this was um, implemented in the Onyx Links that uh, changes performance mode and quality mode. Wow! So you can see everything's a lot. So this is now. like super responsive. But now. the quality has been significantly diminished. Everything looks really yeah like Nintendo. You can see how the, the things are all pixelated, but you can see when you're accessing the menu, it's like instant now. Yeah. So. This would be for certain things, like if you're going to be making lots of calls, you want to be able to hit numbers and go to them and, and they enter really fast. Or playing a simple game like Sudoku or something like that. Yeah, so we'll give you a comprehensive hands-on yep. review, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goodyreader, and you just watched an unboxing video of the new Onyx Ink phone. Drop a comment below if you'd like to weigh in. I, I'm really excited about this phone, and if you'd like us to load in any specific apps or test any specific functionality of the phone, drop a comment. For goodyreader.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care. Prizes lie within this place. Oh, I see. I can get the bag at 10. Cool. Whoa! See, I'm not going to use a projectile on him because I don't need to. I'm really not getting as many gems as I could be getting. I'm kind of just getting through this to show you guys what's going on. Boom! Boom! Oh! Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll go back to the stage and complete it at a later date. I am a completionist when it comes to games, so I like getting 